thanks to our friends at Bridgestone. Every Aaron's episode, we highlight saints in the community. Bridgestone is focused on creating equitable access and opportunity through sport because leveling the playing field is what really matters. Uh, it's another episode of Running Errands in the Community. Now, this Saints legend we're going to spotlight, there's no doubt he loves to give back. Hey, Mike, you know I can receive, too. Yeah, no doubt about that. No doubting Marcus Colston's impact is the best receiver in Saints history. His career numbers put a big dent in the record books, where he piled up the most yards, most catches, and the most touchdowns. These days, Colston is still scoring, but off the field, where what really matters is being a mentor to many. We're going to help you take your vision, mold your vision, refine your vision, give you the tools to build your edge, not just on the field, but in life. We got to ride shotgun for this former Saints latest endeavor, a program he kicked off in conjunction with his old team. Marcus Colston, how are you? Well, all right, man. And seen you in a while. Everything good? It's, it's, it's been a while. I'm enjoying this this uh, this nice weather down here in the world. <laughs> okay, every errands in the community episode, we are going somewhere. Where are you taking me in this episode? We are actually going to the Saints facility. We're actually hosting an open house for a program called the One Dream Academy. It's a partnership with the Saints. We're going to have um, about 60 football players that have been nominated. I'm calling it an, an enrichment program. And the purpose is to, to try and, and fill in all of the gaps around education. So we're gonna talk about some personal branding uh, with NIL being such a big thing in, in college sports. We're gonna talk about personal finance. We're gonna get into some leadership. We're gonna talk about entrepreneurship. So the goal of the program is to, to kind of supplement what they're learning in the classroom, okay. but ultimately set these, these, young, uh, these young athletes up for success on the field and off the field um, whenever their careers are done. Why does this matter so much to you? I mean, to me, you know, having the opportunity and being blessed to, to play down here for as long as I did and, and have the kind of career that I had, um, you know, what really matters to me is, is the ability to take that platform and pay it forward to the next generation. Is there anything that you take from your football career that helps you in being successful in building projects like this? Yes, everything. <laughs> and no, and, I, and I, I truly mean that. Yeah. I, I think, you know, a lot of people look at, at the, the role of an athlete and they, they see the physical side of things. But what you learn from, a, from an introspective standpoint to become that athlete, you know, that process, can, you, can, you can use it over and over again in your life. Goldstick can pass on many lessons highlighted by his penchant for patience and perseverance. Before he shattered the Saints' record books, he earned his keep, grinding his way to the top of the depth chart after nearly going undrafted. When you started your football career, you never knew it would turn out like this. I know you always believed in yourself, but the fact that the road was hard, you know, looking back, at, you know, it has to you know, give you some sense of pride, not only that you made it, but you can pass it on too. Absolutely. I mean, it's... it's no one, no one goes out and, and aspires to get drafted number 252. Like, <laughs> you, don't, you don't wake up and that's your dream. So, right. But I will say that journey has been a tougher road. It's been a longer road, a lot of different turns that I, that I never expected. But as I look back on the journey, I, I'm, I'm starting to realize how many breadcrumbs that I dropped along the way and the ability to go back and pick them up and share them with, with others that are on the same journey. Um, there's no feeling like it. It's what it's all about. All right, we're here at the Saints Complex. I know a lot of preparation has led up to this event. You excited? It feels like game day again. <laughs> okay, the old stomping grounds. Yeah, it looks a little different, huh? You like coming back? I love coming back. Yeah. There. You never know what you're going to see. Oh, look at this, Marcus <laughs> Colson. Who's that guy right there? Uh, right, right on time, man. That's that's a young man right there. You look the same, I think. You haven't changed too much since then. What do you think? I might look the same. I don't know if I feel the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you made your mark in this franchise, though. I mean, with your kids and every generation, you'll always be able to bring them back and, and show them this, too. No, that's, that's, the, that's the best part. Yeah. Um, my son is he's getting a little older now. He's, he's got his own career he's building, so <laughs> I can stay cool for a little while longer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Not a bad picture of you, huh? 
It must, it must be at this core. <laughs> <laughs> So your event is here in the meeting room. I feel like a fellow wide receiver sitting with you here right now. Yeah, we, we need to have some, uh, some X's and O's up on the big screen, man. <laughs> no X's and O's on this day. Colston transformed his old Saints meeting room into his inspiring One Dream Academy. The purpose of this program and, and the reason we called it One Dream is we want to be that resource for you all to dream as big as you want to dream but also give you the tools and the resources to be able to go and get it. Ultimately, this program is not just kind of a touch and go. This program is not for cameras. This program is not for the glitz and glamour. This program is really gonna be about what you make it. We're gonna help you take your vision, mold your vision, refine your vision, give you the tools to build your edge. Not just on the field, but in life. Colston's mission is sincere and to give it credibility he passed on his football journey, a path which was unconventional, frustrating, yet inspiring. As a high school athlete, I jokingly say I was a no-star recruit. Put together a pretty good college career, but still got drafted as you know the fourth to last pick in the draft. Somehow figured out a way to, to fill in certain gaps and, and, and learn how to play new positions, and ultimately put myself in position, not, not just to, to make a roster, but to start opening day my rookie year. That journey that I just laid out for you, um, that was nothing compared to the transition out of football. A post-Saints transition where Colston has created a multitude of options. He's currently a successful entrepreneur, an ascending executive coach, and a valued college professor. All of these trips outside his comfort zone have enabled Marcus to learn valuable lessons he's eager to pass on to the next generation of athletes. When you leave this game, there are not a lot of resources for you. I've just been able to have a ton of incredible experiences post football, and it's all built on the lessons that I learned in that journey from zero star recruit to New Orleans Saints. Lessons that were absorbed and appreciated by the many coaches, players, and family members on hand. It means a lot. He was real excited about coming, so. Um, when he got the invite, he immediately called me, Grandma, you want to come with me? I said, of course I do. Yeah. <laughs> From this event, um, it, can, it can take you further than just football. And a lot of other events don't do all that. This event was very different from other events that I have been to because it, get, it I felt like it gave me a more opportunity and gave me some knowledge that I didn't know for the future. What does it mean to have your vision and then the Saints supporting this vision? I mean, it's everything. Yeah. It's everything. I mean, the, the, the platform that this organization has, um, the how connected it is to the city and to this region, you know, with support from the organization and everyone in it. I mean, it, it's, it's what makes a program like this come alive. Marcus Colston, an educator, an entrepreneur, and an elevator of young men. This episode of Aaron's in the Community is sponsored by Bridgetone, solutions for your journey.